Hi, I'm Cecilia Seidenberg. I'm from Brazil. I'm a Brazilian feminist who happens to be an anthropologist, and I'm a teacher at the Federal University of Bahia. I also coordinate now OBSERVE, which is the observatory to monitor the implementation of Maria da Penha law. Maria da Penha law is a package of legislation, I think one of the most progressive and most uh, complex packages of legislations to combat domestic violence against women. Uh, it was passed in Brazil six years ago, and it's uh, still though, you know, fantastic on paper, but it's very difficult to implement. So what we're doing at the observatory is uh, monitoring the implementation of this law. But we also have been campaigning, and we're successful in our campaigns, to pass what is called the anti-Basharia law, which is a, a, a new legislation uh, that combats uh, violence against women, but symbolic violence against women in music, in dance, and you say, well, maybe this is being censorship. No. This legislation uh, that was passed last year after a big, long campaign uh, simply states that uh, the state cannot use its funds, you cannot use public funds to pay for singers, bands, or whoever that uh, sing songs and present songs that uh, degrade women and that degrade blacks as well and that degrade gays and uh, lesbians. That's something a legislation that was passed last year. And you know, it's very important. I think that's legislation. It's very important that we, you know, go ahead with this campaign because we just had uh, noticed that last year, in 2012, there were more than 50,000 rapes reported in Brazil. Now that's more than 50,000 rapes in one year. And this, this figure is higher than the number of premeditated numbers that happened in Brazil. They were, or premeditated, or I'd say intentional, there were 47,000 intentional murders in Brazil and more than 50,000 reported uh, rapes. Now that's reported, and you know that usually you know, rapes go underreported because the women are afraid to report it. So when you think in terms of 50,000, you can also, you, need, you can double that figure, at least double, because you know there are at least 100,000 rapes that went off. And the songs that degrade women, they incite this kind of violence. So I think it's very important to have this legislation when we think the number of, uh, you know, of uh, rapes. Now this is just, just rapes. Can you imagine the other forms of violence against women? So I think this campaign of the 16 days you know, to combat violence against women is very, very important. We all should engage in this campaign because women you know, are suffering, are being victims of violence. So we have to do something and this campaign uh, makes us conscious of what is happening. It uh, makes our uh, public officers aware of the situation and maybe they'll get the legislation to be implemented and to be applied the way it should. Thank you.